Hey everybody. So Lonnie Walker the fourth is one of the best examples for basketball players who want to increase their confidence. It's the best example of what can happen if you're a truly confident player. What can happen? You can explode just like that. Now you're in the rotation. I don't know if, if, if he is going to be in the rotation. I don't know that. But he's playing at the highest level in one of the best basketball clubs in the world. So it is not that big of a deal if he doesn't get into the rotation since it's playoffs as well. But that's not the point in this video. I just wanted to share some thoughts that I have with you. <clears throat> That's, that, these thoughts, you know, gonna help you. Gonna help you realize some things. <clears throat> so, Lonnie Walker the fourth. <clears throat> if you're watching the series, you've been watching the play playoffs. He hasn't gotten a lot of play time. There are aiming games when he is DMP. You know, the coach doesn't play him. He doesn't get any playing time. And if you don't get playing time, that's a lot a lot of the times players get negative thoughts in their heads. They get negative emotions in their body. Thoughts like uh, I'm a bad player, I don't belong here, nobody wants me here, nobody wants me to take shots. Uh, they start feeling insecure, which are normal things. I'm not saying they're bad things. And what I want to say is, I am not ruling out that Lonnie Walker had negative thoughts, had negative emotions, because he didn't get playing time. But probably, I don't know him. The players don't talk about this stuff. But I think he doesn't allow his mind to take over. Maybe he has practiced meditation. Maybe he is practicing meditation to create that space between him and his mind. Yeah, negative thoughts are coming, but he is the observer of those thoughts. He doesn't let those thoughts take over and get into a negative spiral. And when it comes to negative emotions, he knows how to release those negative emotions. So, you don't see any of that, right? You don't see, you don't see what emotions he's experiencing. You don't see what thoughts are going on in his mind. But what I'm telling you is, everybody are human. Absolutely everybody. But it seems like these NBA players, they, you know, they, they're conf they're just confident. Mo mostly, uh, the, you know, they are, but still they're human. I, I am 100% sure uh, they experience negative emotions, insecurities, anxiety, fear. Uh, because when you look at the warm-ups, you look at the warm-ups, pretty much everybody are just swishing, the, swishing and swishing their shots. They're just swishing it. Everybody are Steph Curry when they're warming up. But in the game, it's different. I get the physical part. Yes, your pulse is up, you're tired, fatigued, whatever it is. It's different, I know, but there's a psychological and emotional part as well. So, Lonnie Walker didn't get playing time. There were games he didn't even play. He comes in, and he and he scores double over double double digits. I think it was 14 points in the fourth quarter, and he was a big reason they won the game. So he has supreme confidence because 
he doesn't allow his mind to control him. His thoughts don't control him. His emotions don't control him. He, that doesn't mean he doesn't have negative thoughts. That doesn't mean he doesn't have negative emotions. But he knows how to deal with them. He knows how to release negative emotions. Let go of negative emotions. Let go of negative limiting beliefs that he has about himself, about his game. Because we have those beliefs. And we, if we don't know how to let go of these negative beliefs about ourselves, these insecure beliefs that we have deep down, right now you might not even know you have certain beliefs. Because they're unconscious. You're not aware of them. That's why you can't consciously think your way into being confident. Because unconsciously, which is the most powerful force that influences everything you do and how you feel about yourself in your life. Right? These subconscious beliefs, they influence how you feel about yourself on the court and in your life around women. These subconscious beliefs are what, what determine how you feel about yourself. Okay. So... Lonnie is a natural now, right? He has that confidence. And look what happens. Playoffs, game four. He, he's playing for the Lakers. He's playing with one of the greatest players, LeBron James. You see in the TV shows, Unsputed, first things first. Uh... And other shows, they mention from time to time that it's different. When LeBron James passes you the ball, it's different. Guys start shaking. They start missing all of a sudden. Great shooters, world-class shooters, they start missing. They don't make shots anymore because LeBron James is giving those passes out. These players, they don't have the skill to process those emotions and those thoughts and those beliefs that come. Oh, Le LeBron is... Whatever the stories are, you know. Oh, I can't miss any shots. If I miss a shot, I'm going to be benched. If I miss a shot, LeBron's going to fire me. Le GM is going to fire me. <laughs> you know, all these stories will come up. But the, it, the key is awareness. That's why meditation is important. Meditation... Build your awareness. You're not a slave to your mind anymore. Start becoming, um, you can say, powerful. But not, not in a way that you're, you know, I don't know, powering over others inside yourself. Your mind is not controlling you anymore. Okay, guys. So, Lani was, is a great example of what true confidence um, can do for you. It can. <laughs> you can just blossom when you're truly confident. And he did it on the biggest stage, basically. It wasn't the NBA Finals, but he's playing with LeBron James, he's playing for the Lakers. It's an uh, important game, I would say, a very important game. And then he was just freaking confident. He was, he was, he was just flowing. He was, he was just going with the flow. Um, he was feeling it, and um, it was great to see. Okay, guys, uh, if you're someone who wants to increase their confidence, take it to the next level, become deeply, truly confident, and and you're willing to do the deeper work with yourself. Do the internal work because the internal always creates your external world. Internal world always creates the external. So if if if, if that resonates with you, um, then subscribe to the channel. Subscribe uh, because if you subscribe, you're gonna actually see my videos come up uh, in your feed, YouTube feed. If you're watching videos, you might see one of my videos and. 
and then you can get more value. Okay guys, we'll see you in the next video.